Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to delve into the world of data analysis and explore how to assess the normality of your data using GraphPad Prism. Normality is a crucial assumption for many statistical tests, so it's important to know how to check it. Let's jump right in. Step 1. Select the dataset you want to analyze for normality. This could be a single column of data or multiple columns if you have different groups or conditions. Step 2. Go to the Analyze menu at the top of the screen. From the drop-down menu, select Descriptive Statistics and then choose Normality Test. Step 3. A new window will appear with various options for normality tests. GraphPad Prism provides several common tests, including Shapiro-Wilk, D'Agostino-Pearson, and Kalmogorov-Smirnov. Shapiro-Wilk test is usually the go-to test in scientific data since is the most appropriate for sample sizes below 50. Step 4. Set the significance level for your test. By default, it's usually set to 0.5, but you can adjust it based on your specific needs. This determines the threshold for determining whether the data is considered normally distributed. Once you've selected the appropriate test and set the significance level, click the up button to run the normality test. GraphPad Prism will perform the calculations and display the results in a new window. Now, it's time to interpret the results. GraphPad Prism will provide the test statistic and the p-value associated with the normality test. If the p-value is greater than your chosen significance level, e, g, 0 0.5, then you can conclude that the data follows a normal distribution. However, if the p-value is less than the significance level, you have evidence to suggest that the data does not follow a normal distribution. And there you have it. A step-by-step -step guide on how to analyze the normality of your data using GraphPad Prism. Remember, ensuring the normality of your data is crucial for accurate statistical analysis. So, take the time to assess it properly. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to BioInfoTips.